just wants to be beautiful she goes hey everyone i'm jimmy shante and i am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new to all my old subscribers hey today i am talking about my natural hair and i'll be looking down because i have everything that i want to get to so i don't get off track so we're going to go straight into the video my official when i officially started my natural hair journey was probably mid 2015 no 16 about maybe around april i really said i really wanted to just fully transition and just let my hair grow and so i can eventually be natural and big chop my whole first plan was to just transition all the way natural and then I was like, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So I was like, I'm gonna transition for about a year. So I should be like, it's a nice size length. But then around the end of the summer, my natural hair and my relaxed hair, it was not getting along whatsoever. My natural hair is so thick and so coarse compared to my relaxed ends it's just just too much work my last relaxer was December 31st 2015 what made me go natural was I was just sick of getting relaxes and perms it was just too much I didn't like the smell I didn't like going through the process anymore I just wanted a new journey yeah, pretty much I big chop September 5th, 5th of 2016. That day, I was initially planning on cutting my hair all the way off. But something was telling me just to do it and cut it all off. So I did it. And I'll insert pictures in the video. Maybe over here if I can. And when I big chop, I big chop by myself. I cut my own hair. I like I did the little with my hair, put conditioner in it, and then just cut off where the natural hair relaxed hair met. And it wasn't it wasn't emotional whatsoever. It was just a sign of relief and just ready to do something new. But the next morning, I woke up, looked in the mirror, I was like, dang. I would really cut off all my hair, but it was just, it was never emotional for me. It was just more of a relief. Just excitement, I guess, in a way. But pretty much the whole time from September all the way up to January of two, this year, I protected styles by wearing wigs, keeping my hair braided, crocheted, Braids and twist. Twist. yet just pretty much keep my hair braided doing the same pretty much same thing I did when I was relaxed other than flattering my hair all the time just kept up with my deep conditions doing deep conditioning once a week washing my hair once a week and just really taking care of my hair keeping my hair moisturized because natural hair gets dry especially when you have really coarse hair like mine I have type 4 hair that's really like going into what I learned so far. I have my type four hair. Don't really know my porosity. I just know I need to keep my hair moisturized because it gets dry kind of quick. I would say my hair does grow about half an inch a month. Like the average amount of growth. 
Okay, so going into my current hair products that I use or products that I've used throughout my natural hair journey. Start off with the Shea Moisture Cocoa Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancer Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil Thick for Thick Curl Hair. Then I went into starting to use the Kinky Curly Not Today. Every since I bought this, this has been heaven to me. It's pretty on the high end side to me. I think it's like $11 or $12 a bottle. And this, it is a 8 ounce bottle. And now I can like literally go through like half of this with one use of like washing my hair and all of that and detangling my hair. But this is the same bottle I started off with since last summer because I haven't been trying to buy another one yet, but I will soon because this is a great one. And when I first big chop, tried doing wash and goes, but it wasn't working so good. And I tried using the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. But that didn't really work out as good as it says, where is it, for popping curls and no crunch. I don't know if I used too much of this at the time, but my hair was super crunchy. And I'm going to try using it again, see how it works. Now with my hair even longer, but first time, I didn't really like it. So, oh yeah, and during my protective style, I use the Girl Hair Under Hair Care. And this really just helped with keeping my hair moisturized and like my braids and when I will wear my wigs or when I have my crochet braids or twist. I don't want to keep saying braids. I want braids, but I haven't got there yet. But it really helped keep my hair moisturized, keep my scalp nice and moisturizing not itchy at all like if you have like, ever had like itchy problems with type stylings use some of this and just apply it on your hair it has like a little nozzle whoa comes out and it's like a very thin consistency like if you were to melt coconut oil that's exactly what how it feels, the thickness of the oil. What is all in it? Based off the oils, so just oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, castor oil, shea oil, another oil that I can't pronounce. I'm not going to try. Try the full line of the Shea Moisture products. I'm gonna try the Jamaican black castor oil since. That's another product that I use. But for my, which one is this? Shampoo. I have a Cantu Shea Butter, butter for Natural Hair. So for free cleansing cream shampoo. This right here. I don't really shampoo my hair often. I was doing once a week, but now I'm trying to stretch it to like twice, maybe three times. Every three weeks. I don't know why I'm gonna get that right every three weeks because shampoo really strips your hair causing break and may cause breakage and stuff like that but that's just what I've read so far so I pretty much every week I use the co-wash to wash my hair then I deep condition with this hydrating cream conditioner and then I go in with my Cantu Shea Butter Tea Tree and the Jojoba hair and scalp oil whenever I'm getting ready to play my hair I always take oh sorry to open take this and squeeze it on my hand rub my hands together and just like bless my hair out and play with it however I want to because I would not go in my hair playing with it with just dry hands it's also a way to moisturize my hair because it does have shea butter in it 
to my hair as always as y'all seen in my other videos i use my jamaican black cast oil and this does me wonders it's really helps with sealing my hair i prefer that over olive oil and coconut oil i use olive oil like more in the summertime but one time i use the jamaican black cast oil my hair goes for my natural hair journey my ultimate hair length goal will be to be like mid back length, like bra strap or under bra strap length. That'd be over. This is your bra strap on the like here. I wanted to have a massive big fro. I would insert a picture of like how I imagine my fro to be, but it probably won't be like that. And I want to be able to find. Like this year, I want to be able to find the best ways to style my hair with like braid outs, twist outs, like what products work best for my hair, what products don't work good. Then I'll share that in other videos. And then lastly, just to keep up with my trend, I see a lot of people who grow their hair out, they don't keep up with their trim. So when it's time for them to like, when they decide to get a trim or they straighten their hair, they have to cut like two to three inches off. And I don't want to have to go through that process. I want to really maintain my ends, really maintain my length and all of that. And that's pretty much it with the video. So, thank you all for watching. I am Jimmy Shante and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes.